then President in Office, uh, Commissioner. Uh, first of all, let me welcome the Commissioner to the House and her first address to Parliament and to wish her well uh, during her term of office. Let me also congratulate our colleague, uh, Mrs. Nevis, for the preparation of this report. President, I'm particularly concerned about uh, fishermen uh, operating inshore and from small coastal uh, islands. Uh, such small-scale fisheries are of extreme importance to the peripheral areas where there's no alternative source of employment. And I'm heartened this morning uh, when I listen to the Commissioner make reference uh, to such uh, fisheries. The majority of boats fishing uh, in these areas are less than 15 metres, uh, catching fish and catching quantities that make no significant impact on uh, the fish docks uh, and, of course, uh, fish, many of them fishing non coded species. And most importantly, there's no alternative source of employment uh, for many of those people. Uh, this is why I've tabled a, an amendment which calls on the Commission to specifically recognise these remote communities. Regionalisation and the introduction of the RACs has been successful. So therefore, regionalisation management structures should create many positive effects, including increased responsibility on the part of the stakeholders uh, and the uh, establishment of a new common fisheries policy that will be more sensitive to local concerns. With the operation of the Lisbon Treaty following the referendum in my own country last year, the European Parliament now has greater uh, legislative um, responsibility. And again, the Commissioner has recognised this and look forward to working with her. So I would hope in conclusion, Mr. President, that the key provisions of this report will be included in the substantive reforms in the future.